all my life I've been a sucker. I've been a patsy for the appeals of various fundraisers or uh, uh, salespeople who've come to my door, and I would stand in unwanted possession of tickets to the sanitation workers' ball and <laughs> subscriptions to Beekeepers Digest. <laughs> and I always thought to myself, how did this happen? Because I didn't want these things on their merit. It must have been the presentation of those things that got me to say yes to them. Isn't that interesting? Let me study this. Let's see how the influence process works, not in terms of simply presenting the features, the benefits of a product or service or even an idea, but how we deliver those, those merits, those, those features that inclines people to want them. And so I began to study the process. Initially, as a behavioral scientist, I realized that if I were to truly understand how this worked outside of laboratory situations and college campuses where I was studying them, I needed to get into the real world where people are fighting the influence wars every day. And so, so I, salesmen, and salespeople, persuaders, uh, uh, politicians, marketers, politicians, public relations specialists, uh, fundraisers, recruiters, all these people whose business it is to get us to say yes to them. Well, they weren't going to just tell me what their secrets were. That's proprietary. So I began to infiltrate their training programs undercover. I began to ask, uh, answer ads, and I learned how to sell automobiles from a lot. I learned how to sell insurance from an office. I learned how to sell portrait photography from the phone, vacuum cleaners uh, uh, door to door. And in those training programs, I looked for the, the principles of influence that were successful across the widest range of those circumstances. And what I found surprised me in that there were only six, six universal principles that every successful influence profession employed.